All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fate Apocrypha episode nine. Uh, in the last episode, we are we went full swing into the kind of main, main battle it would seem between uh, red and black sides. Um, we have Mordred on the way. I think she's just about to arrive with Master. Um, we had what seemed like the first kind of sneak peek of yeah, Vlad versus Karna, and we had uh, Achilles who was going to fight Kaidon. Uh, we saw the Gardens of Babylon, giant ass uh, noble phantasm from Assassin of Red, uh, and just a bunch of other cool things too. Which and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody going into full swing. We had like the taster of the battle in the last episode. In this episode, probably gonna see some shit. Um, but yeah, uh, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Why have we got this introduction now, all, all of a sudden? Hey, what in the hell is going on here? That's the Holy Grail? What the fuck is going on here? Interesting. And this is the Grail? Or the Greater Grail? Oh, damn! Hit him with the ground pound. Let's go. Oh, Shakespeare's coming through? Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> need to do something. You don't have to fight, but can you, like, buff him or something as a caster? Ooh, shit, son. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> Just chilling in the tree. Oh shit, what is it? Wait, he has a noble phantasm? This isn't like Shakespeare's work? God damn, he's putting in work. Holy shit, dude. Well, not exactly a caster of red, it seems. The master of red... Unless there's another master up there, but... Boy, she's talking about Shuro. Uh, Shuro, sorry. <laughs> I like Astolfo's attitude. What is this? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Oh, well, that worked. Oh, Spartacus came through. Shit. Oh, shit, dude. So now he's got to fight Vlad and Spartacus. Or she, she's going to take on Spartacus. Oh, shit. I bet she went for, like, weak points or something like that. Oh, my God, dude. But they clearly didn't work. Hey, yo. Is this a noble phantasm? He used it in the last episode. Oh, this is going to go nuts. Oh my god, he tore him to pieces. I would not get that close to him. Oh, shit. Damn. I really thought he'd have the... He'd really thought he'd have the edge over Kadon. Wow. God, fate does impact moments so well. Oh, distractions. <laughs> Didn't teach me that. Surely, Caster has to be onto this by now. Yeah, for real. She's assassin, which is crazy to me. And Shakespeare's goddamn caster. Like, she seems like a caster in life, but got spawned in as an assassin. Oh, Jesus, dude. Oh, Griffin gone. 
Oh shit, is he gonna save him? You ain't got time to think about it, bro. If you're gonna save him, save him. Damn right, Sieg. <laughs> oh, just a scratch. Fell from the sky. No big deal. Oh, here comes Mordred. Oh, these guys are on opposite sides too. Oh no. I'd say I don't know enough about them, but I feel like Estolfo's up there on their group in terms of strength. Probably. So is Mordred actually going to fight Estolfo? <laughs> the main character. Not even wrong. Why do y'all keep fucking with Jan, bro? Jesus, she is the ruler of this goddamn war. I swear she's just meant to be an observer. Why does everybody want to fight her? Yeah, why? Damn. Really felt like Shira might have actually taken Frankenstein there. Or taken her life, even. Oh, nope. There's still more. The stage is yours. Wow. What is going on? What is he doing? Jesus Christ, dude. Because it's something I don't have. Wow. Aww. This ain't him. This ain't him, bro. Come on. Snap out of it. Oh, damn. Jesus. This is like insane animation. Going insane. Oh, it's a wooden doll. Oh, yes. The best way to fight a servant. Trauma. Jeez. Ah, oh, she's straight back into it. Let's go. Now, Mordred ain't even put her armor on. That's so not cool. <laughs> God damn, Mordred. Mordred's barely trying. Oh, she's taking it seriously. Yeah. Bro, I'm not ready for the Astolfo to die, man. This ain't fair. Oh my god, what is this? Death beam. Yeah, for real, that's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Oh, wow. That was probably your best attack, too. Oh my god, what is going on? What is going on? Wow. Looks like we got something at the end. What is this? Oh, Sieg, bro. Oh, shit. Saber versus Saber. Well, Saber's heart versus a uh, Saber. But yeah, that's uh, it's pretty cool. I like the symbolism that's probably going to happen in the next episode with that. Um, so that was episode nine of Fate Apocrypha. Uh, really cool episode. It's uh, interesting to see, like, god damn, I've got to say, Assassin of um, Assassin of Red is crazy strong with the Magecraft. Like, <laughs> I feel like if she was, like, kind of given the role of caster in this battle, it would have been a completely different story. I don't know. Maybe it would have been the same. I'm not sure how it works. But, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. A um, little bit of trauma for Frankenstein this episode. It's always, always nice to see, you know. Definitely, definitely a healthy amount of trauma. Um, and again, with Shiro, I'm not actually sure what he wants to do here and why they're attacking Jan at all as a ruler. I don't really get it. I don't see why they would be trying to do that. She's clearly way too strong. Um, and she, as I say, she's just kind of more like an observer, right? So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I guess we'll find out soon. Um, yeah, I feel like I don't know how long this battle's going to go on for, but uh, we've obviously got a lot, a lot of size to this. Um, Kaidon versus uh, Achilles, Kana versus Vlad, um, Astolfo, Mordred, and now Sieg, and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, uh, that was a really good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction, uh, and I really enjoyed, yeah, I really did join the episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.